Hey guys, what's up? Big Art Games here, and today I'm going to be uh, on my monk today, just showcasing the new 7.1.5 uh, changes that have happened to the monk. Uh, a lot of good things have happened to monks, especially mist weavers. Um, that's what I'm going to be covering this video. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a windwalker guide and maybe some windwalker changes uh, in some coming videos in the future. But today, uh, we're just going to be going over the mist weaver monk. So. First thing that we're going to get into is our mastery buff. Uh, this actually got buffed. Uh, before, it was each uh, mastery point would give us like 10% uh, towards Gust of Mist, and now it gives us 13%. So our mastery is buffed where uh, whenever we do a heal or anything, uh, we get that nice 200k heal crit. Uh, it scales with your mastery though. Um, so best basically, your mastery has been increased to give you better heals overall which is pretty good I think um, secondly uh, the rising sun kick has had its mana cost reduced so before it was 2.25 percent of your base mana now I think it's just two percent so it got lowered by 0.25 percent which is always nice um, so now uh, is a talent change that we can mostly go through. It's Zen Pulse. So if you don't know what Zen Pulse is, it's where you put it on ally, and uh, it does damage to the enemies around you. So as you can see here, it's like 100k damage, and the ally gets healed for 78% of the damage done. So this is good for, uh, I guess, if you're really focusing on tank healing. But uh, it did get... Um, it did get buffed because there was um, an enemy maximum on it, so it was like six enemies. Uh, so now, uh, like I think it's able to. Um, what is it? I have the list here. So it says Zen Pulse had a cap of six enemies placed on its healing count in a hot fix during 7.1. So earlier on. Uh, but the buff to its healing per enemy hit is sorely needed, as it will no longer scale ridiculously. So, it's still uh, healing a lot, they just put a little bit of a cap on it. Um, I think they took away the 6 enemies cap, but just kind of scaled down the healing that it does normally. So you can do it on a whole bunch of people, and, you know, still add a decent amount of healing. So, next one I want to cover is the PvP talent. Uh, Mistwalk. So Mistwalk uh, got a 70% increase in its healing. Uh, before, it was actually, um, I think it was 350%, and now it's actually at 420%. So that's a nice uh, 750 or no, 75% increase to the healing done on it. Um, so I guess like it's still good for PvP, but I would still probably use Zen Pulse in PvE. Or not Zen Pulse, uh, Chi Burst. Um, but yeah, that's just preference, honestly. This is a great PvP talent. I've used it whenever I heal. Um, and yeah, it's always good. So, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, I think it's just like the new legendaries are in here, which is good. There's uh, a new one called Shelter of Rin. Um, so here I have the tool, pit, tool tip. It says, uh, Shelter of Rin is one of the two new legendary items introduced to the legendary item pool in 7.1.5. So 15% of Shilun's gift total healing, so this includes the overhealing and boosts from your outside sources, uh, that healing uh, is replicated on every person with Renewing Mist on them. This can turn... Thunder Focus T Renewing Mist into a potential a potent group burst heal. Um, I think that's only if it's stacked high enough. I mean, if it's a solo cloud for like a 70k heal, you know, it's good. Like, I mean, you're getting that 15%, which is like an extra like 18,000 uh, to people with Renewing Mist. So I don't know. It's okay. Um, so. The next uh, trinket is actually uh, in here. It's Velen's uh, Future Sight. Uh, this was actually the one before. So, uh, Shelter of Rin, just the tooltip there. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a Miss Pandaria kind of thing. Um, 
So new one is Velen's Future Sight or Valen's Future Sight. So increase all healing done by 15% and causes 50% of overhealing on players to be redistributed to three nearby injured allies. I think this is so good. Um, so you basically get a 15% increase to all your heals. So say you do with Shilun's Gift, you do a million heal. You get an extra 150,000 towards it, which is so nice. And um, basically, if that's overhealing, 50% uh, of that, so like say you only need like 600k, and with that 150k that you got, you still have 550,000 um, that can be redistributed to three other guys. So divide by three, that could be like uh, like 18, 180. Thousand uh, for three nearby allies. So hopefully I'll get that to drop for me, and I'll have my uh, leggings to do good. But right now I have two legendaries. I just need to unlock the thing in uh, the class hall that lets me do it. I haven't really farmed order hall resources, as you can see. But uh, that's it. So I'll have the link to uh, Blizzard Entertainment's. Um, patch notes in the description and I'll uh, I'll put the link to the website that I found in the description too so hopefully that'll help you guys out and if you have any questions uh, comments concerns anything just leave in the comments below uh, I'll have a windwalker video up soon because uh, that's my off spec right now uh, maybe I'll work on brewmaster get my artifact up um, but yeah so hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys all later thanks bye